certainly today is not the first time I've taken action with Paula or with Sea Shepherd. One of the main things that I've done so far for Sea Shepherd was I went to Taiji, Japan, and which is the drive slaughter and captivity hunt that they do six months out of the year. And and I had this incredible experience of watching firsthand the horrific, brutal killing that that they do and, and also just watching these dolphins and pilot whales being taken for captivity. I actually saw the, the albino dolphin uh, at the Taiji Whale Museum swimming around in a small, dirty tank um, with a lot of other dolphins who were just listless. One kept banging its head against gla the glass to tell that it was, you know, bored. Um, they travel thousands and thousands of miles, right? I mean, in, in like one day, Oh, whales, dolphins, they travel so far. Uh, to me, it's to be in this small tank and for any of us to think that that's okay is, is mind-boggling. Being in Taiji was memorable. And yes, I will remember every horrific thing I saw, but I will also remember being a part of a family and a family that was all fighting for the same thing, and a family that took care of each other. They are brave, courageous warriors who I love and will forever love. On aussi focaliser sur les enfants parce que c'est eux la première cible finalement. Le jour où les enfants refuseront à leur maîtresse d'école ou à leurs parents des sorties dans les delphinariums, alors là, je pense que on aura fini avec le problème. And I've told them, and they know this, uh, that I'm happy to go on every single op there is. <laughs> if the boat doesn't make me fall asleep, I'll, I'll go on the boat. <laughs> I, you know, the captain will hopefully talk to me about that and figure out a way where I won't fall asleep. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, I think that we all have to be dedicated. And what I also love about what Paul's been saying recently is that, you know, it's, it's a movement. Sea Shepherd isn't an organization, it is a movement. And that to me is one of the most beautiful things that I've ever heard because so many of these organizations, they just, they raise money, they raise money, they raise money. A lot of it goes to administration fees, a lot of it goes to t-shirts, a lot of it goes to flyers, a lot of it, but not a lot of it goes to the animals and to actually getting anything done. Sea Shepherd is one of those that, that that's the antithesis of that, which is what I really like. And the fact that because he views it as a movement, he's actually had people who have worked with Sea Shepherd go off and do other things and create, you know, start PETA and make change. And it's not like I, I could say to him, hey, Paul, I want to start an organization and I want to do this. And, and he would probably help me do that. And that's wonderful because there's just not a lot of people out there who do that. We're working with a company here in, uh, in say, Malo called Algeo Pack that makes plastic out of seaweed. This is a seaweed glass. Wow. Awesome. Wow, but what can actually really be done on a day-to-day -day personal level from an individual that actually wants to help make a change? Well, what we're trying to, you know, I think that we're trying to get people to understand that they can make a difference in their own life and that we've got to stop depending upon governments and big corporations and non and big non uh, charitable organizations that just do nothing but raise money uh, we've got to get involved actively so that's why I set up Sea Shepherd is so, so that people could be individually involved mm -hmm. so we don't ask people just for donations we ask people for their involvement mm -hmm. good friends of mine with three kids they went out on a boat and saw plenty of whales and the kids were just excited but the whales were in their natural habitat and that is a beautiful thing and that's that's what people should be doing <laughs>